Welcome back, Fred Jackson Show. Our special guest tonight in studio, we have Frank the Tank Summers in the house tonight. <laughs> Frank, you're the fullback. Your job is, I guess, more or less to open up holes for Fred Jackson. Uh, is that a fun job? <laughs> it is. Is it? It is, yeah, it is. I enjoy it. That is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's a lie. <laughs> yeah. He wants to score touchdowns. Don't let him lie to you. He, he loves to, to get touchdowns and score and all that. And we were just talking about it during the break. Uh, he, he had an opportunity to score yesterday on a touchdown, and he was making my job easier by bluffing the defensive end, and it kept him from getting out as clean as he wanted to. So by the defensive end, Stalling for a second, you didn't have to block him as much yeah. when he called through the yeah. pass. It was so. It was. It made my job really easy. The guy was falling down because Frank buffed him so well. And and he told us, Frank, you took some abuse for your concern for for Fred when he was down on the field. Is that true? Oh yeah. Today they had a bunch of jokes for us. Kyle, uh, Lee, you know, thought we, you know, said that uh, they thought we were a tougher group. Uh, <laughs> made fun of us about Fred acting like he was dying on the field, and then got up and came back. <laughs> wow. So. <laughs> It's messed up. I don't even remember doing all of this, though. So, you know, you. I would like to think that this is all in fun, but you're telling me, well, it's just coming. It's part of the locker room mentality. It I is. Guess, right? it, it's what happens, you know. And uh, they they need new material every week, and this <laughs> just happened to be what they're on. They ever comment on your show? Uh, sometimes, but. Yeah, I mean, all good stuff about you. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. I'll go in the locker room and find out. Yeah. All right. So Frank, as your job, have you always been? You know, the, 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 the physical guy on your team at all levels of football, or how did this role, Frank the Tank, evolve? Yeah, well, uh, my first year playing football ever was in the seventh grade, and uh, I actually had to lose 30 pounds to play Pop Warner. As you know, you got a weight right. limit, and I was well over that limit. So uh, <laughs> I had to lose weight. 30 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> what was the weight limit? I want to say maybe one – what was it, like maybe 135 like one, one or something 35? like that? Yeah, for junior midgets. And so uh, my first year I played offense and defense line, actually my first two years, and then it wasn't until high school I played uh, fullback, running back, and linebacker. Where would you get the nickname Frank the Tank? My mother actually gave me that nickname. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Probably in the delivery room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More than likely, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've been big all my life. <laughs> this boy's a tank? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So it's but, just been something to stick with me all yeah. my life. It's a great nickname. I love it. That, that wasn't his nickname about a week ago. Though. What was it, Frank? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was Frank the Wagon. Huh? Frank yeah. the Wagon. Yeah. We, were trying to, we had a couple of plays going in this week uh, where he was blocking Sue and uh, Fairley. So uh, we told him he had to earn a name, Frank the Tank. So we told him until he did his job and, you know, blocked those two, we were going to call him Frank the Wagon. And uh, we, we, we're going to give him the nickname Frank the Tank back. He did an okay job doing that. I, I, think, that's a, I think that's a great nickname. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to go to uh, Brad Gelber in just a second for some social media questions. But, Frank, how important was it to you, you know, as a member of this team, to, to go into Detroit, you're down by two scores, to pull it out, especially on a, I mean, a 58-yard field goal is hardly a gimme. Yeah, it, it was very important. I mean, like you guys mentioned earlier in the show, uh, Fred brought us all together at one point in time where we weren't doing too well. Uh, you know, as a group, we always know it's what we're doing and not doing rather than the other team. So uh, he was able to bring us together, and we were to, able to get some things going and be able to get some drive and some points up. Uh, but to be able to win that game was huge for our team as well as the organization uh, to, you know, get us – you know, back home and uh, in the second quarter, uh, you know, with the fresh fresh start, you know, we're three and uh, what three and two, he three took, and two right now. Took too many shots to the head. Yeah, man. blocking for him. Well, you're, <laughs> so in, in the second quarter, you're actually one and zero. Correct, right. we are actually. So uh, you know, to be able to come home and you know uh, kick this thing off back uh, in our conference, uh, AFC. Yeah. It's exciting. Big game. Let's go to Brad Galber. Brad, I know you sh I'm sure we have a lot of questions out there from social media. Yeah, uh, the first one is actually based on what Frank was just talking about uh, for Fred. Amy wants to know, what words of encouragement did you say to the offense when you huddled them up in the first half? Uh, just that we, we were capable of making plays, and the reason we weren't making those plays is because of ourselves. And uh, I just told guys to come out there and relax and uh, do our job, you know, play one play at a time. And, um, we'll get back in this thing. You know, I said we can't, there's not one play where we can score 14 points. So uh, we just had to go out there and continue to do what we, do, what we did best and 
uh, we'll get back into it and we're able to do so. the ball more, uh, do you think the Bills would benefit from more running of the I formation? Uh, I mean, I got two Pro Bowl guys behind me and Fred and CJ. Uh, you know, I'm just here to help any way possible and, you know, whatever we can do to help win, uh, whatever I can do to help win, I'm all for it. All right, uh, this one's from Julie and it's for Fred. She wants to know, uh, how was the huddle different with uh, Kyle Orton and thanks, she's a loyal, passionate fan. <laughs> Um, with, with Kyle in there, you can tell he's definitely a veteran, you know, seasoned guy that, that has been around a lot. And uh, one of the things you noticed was when he would call a play, he would look, if it was a pass route, he would look at his receivers and say, this is what we're going to do mm -hmm. if they're in this coverage or this coverage. So be ready. Uh, and he would tell guys, if, if it's this coverage, I'm coming to you. So uh, to have things like that uh, is something that you definitely were excited to see, you know, and uh, it, it definitely helped us in the end. And I, and I understand uh, that he audibled into the run play on the two-point conversion. Is that true? He did. Uh, he looked up and seen what front the defense was in and uh, thought that it, it would benefit us to run the ball. And uh, he made that check, you know, by himself up at the line. And uh, it was just on us to execute it, and we were able to do so. Okay, Brad. Yep, uh, this one is from Fred's wife, actually, and uh, she tweeted him before the show, after playing on a soccer team together this spring, can you ask Frank who he thinks is a better soccer player, him or Fred? Oh. Uh, I think Fred is. Fred had a, uh, he had a goal this year that was, you would have thought he was a professional soccer player this year on one of his goals, so him wow. by far. Really? Is that true, Fred? Yeah, I, I impressed myself, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I had that in Any me. Any highlights mind. exist of this goal? I didn't, but uh, <laughs> I, I had – it was great. We all had uh, about six of us that played from the team, and uh, it was definitely our highlight of the, uh, the offseason was playing in that, uh, that soccer league. Now, you weren't playing 10-year-olds or anything. I mean, you were playing adults, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we were probably comparable to anyway was 10-year-olds out there, so – Hey, we're going to take a break. DJ Dave Jixter is next to 97 Rock on the Fred Jackson Show. We would have won that league if he was here. Uh, 